Hey guys, it's Tom Box here, or is it Yuki Box? Now, for today's video, I'm going full Yami to open the product of the Legendary Hero Decks. And for the Legendary Hero Decks, uh, this product has been brought to me by Yu-Gi-Oh! Trading Card Game, the card game that we're all currently playing. So, in terms of this product, of course, it's official, and as for official business, I have to tell you guys that the Legendary Hero Decks. They have been delayed due to the fact that production has been affected by Hurricane Florence. Well wishes to anyone that was affected. Hopefully you guys mm, brave through it. I just got an update on the release date. Originally it was going to be the 18th for the hobby stores. However, production was moving a little faster. And now it's going to be released on October 12th. Get your calendar ready, guys. And only a handful of them were shipped out early. I'm guessing this is one of them. So this is going to be pretty awesome. I'm going to be opening it up. And as for other news, there's going to be a giveaway. Bam! It's going to be a very short giveaway, um, but the prize is really, really awesome. It's going to be the New York Comic Con exclusive prize pack, which includes the following. A Yusei Junk Speeder New York Comic Con exclusive game mat. You get two packs of the legendary Duelist uh, White Dragon Abyss. You get five packs of Star Pack Brains. And you also get the product that we're gonna be opening today, which is Legendary Hero Dex. That's a really good value and it could be yours for free. So hopefully you guys enjoy that. Check out the Gleam link down in the description below to enter. And I'll talk about that uh, before we close out today's video. Without further ado, let's check out what's in this box. So I took the liberty of opening this box already. This box, this box. And here we have it. We have the Legendary Hero Dex and we have three archetypes. We have the Heroes, we have the Nordics, and we have the Phantom Knights. Of course, Heroes taking the center page here. Okay, so let's open up this box. And in here, you will see three decks all sealed up. I believe there are five Ultras in each of these, and there's also uh, 10 extra deck cards. So this is a total of 50 cards per pack. And we'll see what they have. You know what? Let's start with... The one we're anticipating the most. We don't know what are the other 40 cards. I'm hoping it comes with a lot of good reprints. And uh, you know what? Let's move this aside. And we'll zoom in right now. Okay, look, we've zoomed in here. We have our extra hero, Dread Decimator. Uh, what's this Dread Decimator? Since they're all Ds, I'm assuming they're related to Destiny heroes. So it requires two plus hero monsters to make. Okay, uh, it is a link three, so you're probably going to either use three heroes or you can use the other link monster, the other extra hero. Now this card, also any hero monster that this card points to gains 100 attack for each hero monster with different names in your graveyard. So it's mainly an aggressor, an attacker, one of your big beat sticks. If this card attacks a defense position monster, inflict piercing battle damage. So a very basic effect, but it does open up three of your zones. So that's something not to like neglect. It is a very powerful thing to have your zones opened up to combo off. Like think about how people always extra length. They just have the zones to actually manipulate. So that's a really neat thing to have. And it's 25 attack by base. So it's going to run over most monsters and potentially steal game if your opponent is in more of a turtling state. So next card, oh, this is a reprint of Destiny Hero Malicious in the original rarity of Ultra Rare. But um, this is very pretty, of course, uh, with the new foiling, the uh, attribute is also a part foil. We have Destiny Hero Disc Commander's reprint with the new card text as well, where it can only be used once per duel, and you cannot special summon this card during the turn of sent to the graveyard. Bit of limitation, but believe me, this card was way better than Pot of Greed. It was a Pot of Greed that you can use multiple times in one duel back pre-existing days. Um, I think I got banned around 2008. The original Rarity of Destiny draw, very pretty card. I love the original rarity. I love ultra rares personally. And then we have extra hero wonder driver. So what does this one do? This one is one that I guess we're a bit more curious of. We're very pretty shiny. Let's just play with the glare. Okay, so it's a hero link effect monster link two. So this is pretty easy to make requiring two hero monsters and just a ruling uh, update for you guys. Remember the hero is all in capitals. That does matter. So hero kid can't make these cards just for clarification. Uh, capitalization and punk like I guess the uh, yeah the capitalization they do matter in terms of card text uh, okay looking at this we have extra hero wonder driver uh, if a hero monster is normal or special summoned into a zone this card points to target one polymerization one fusion spell card or one quick 
uh, I guess quick play change spell card in your graveyard and set that target. So it's set. Uh, you get, I guess you can't use um, mass change right away. And uh, you can only activate this effect of extra here one to drive once per turn. If this card is destroyed by battle sent to the graveyard or if this card in your possession is destroyed by an opponent's card effect and sent to your graveyard. So it has to be your graveyard. Um, special summon one hero monster from your hand. So I guess it works out with Shadow Mist. All right, I guess we'll go through the rest of the deck. Uh, a lot of these cards I don't really need to talk about unless they're kind of new to me. I didn't really buy a lot of this product uh, regarding uh, the Destiny Soldiers. So there's Destiny Hero Dogma, Destiny Hero Plasma, Destiny Hero Dreadma, well, Dreadmaster, Destiny Hero Mama, or Malicious is the second one. Um, so it does come with two Malicious. This is what I like about these particular products, these these legendary hero decks or these legendary decks is that they come with multiple copies of stuff that you would need multiple copies of. So we also have Destiny Hero Celestial, we have D cubed, and is it actually cubed? Yes, it is cubed. You get three copies of it. So we also have Destiny Hero Diamond Dude, Destiny Hero Dread Servant. Destiny Hero Dark Angel. If you have three or more Destiny Hero in your graveyard, you can discard this card. Talk one Destiny Hero Monster in your graveyard. Special summon to your opponent's field in defense position. Okay, that's kind of interesting. When a spell or effect you activate resolves, negate that effect. Oh, you just put this card on their side. It just hinders them. Okay, so then we also have Data Tag. We have Destiny Hero Drill Dark. When this card is normal special summon, you can special summon a Destiny Hero from your hand with attack less than or equal to this card's attack. You only use this effect once per turn. If this card attacks the defense position monster, inflict piercing battle damage. Yes, the drills make sense. I'm guessing you're the one who goes into uh, Dread... Uh, what's his name? Dread Decimator. Did you know Decimate only means you destroy 10% of something? It's really not that much. Destiny Hero Decider. So we've been seeing a lot of these guys in uh, Duel Links. Of course, Destiny Hero Dreamer. I don't know what this card is. During damage calculation, if your Destiny Hero battles um, and this card is in your grave, you can special summon this card. And if you do, your monster cannot be destroyed by that battle. Also, you take no battle damage from that battle. And if this special summon this way, banish it when it leaves the field. Cool. Also, level one, Link Rebo material, Link Rebo fodder. We also have the Element of Heroes. Now, Shadow Mist, of course. You can do search a change uh, quick play spell. Or you can add a hero monster if this card is sent to the graveyard in general. Very good. Of course, it's one of the most annoying monsters for most people. And then we also have Element Hero Blaze Man. Cool. Now we have a Destiny Draw. We're into the spells now. I guess we can sort this out. Destiny Draw. So second copy of Destiny Draw. That's pretty neat. I guess you don't have to buy too much. Uh, Over Destiny. We have two copies. Clock Tower Prison. One copy. One copy of Dark City. Two copies of Mass Change. Two copies of Polymerization. One Monster Reborn. One Magical Stone Excavation. Two copies of Terraforming. That's kind of silly because you only have two field spells, so usually 2-2 two, two ratio is not exactly ideal in terms of deck building. Uh, we have a Feather Phoenix, so you can top deck a card, which is good for um, good for Destiny Hero Diamond Dude. It was a common combo back in the day so that you can get additional draws during your turn by putting a Destiny draw back to the top. Uh, you can also use Destiny Signal, D Signal, D Time, Eternal Dread puts out uh, Clock Tower Prison counters. Uh, we also have another Eternal Dread and D Fusion. Fusion summon one Fusion monster from your extra deck. So the monster that results in doesn't have to be a hero. Using monster you control as fusion material and if you do, that monster cannot be destroyed by battle card effect. Uh, only Destiny Hero monsters can be used as fusion material for the fusion summon of this card. Now, the resulting monster does not have to be a Destiny Hero, but the materials will have to be. So, the other monsters you can kind of use. If you have a Zombie World on the field, you can go into that uh, Zombie Necro. Whatever his face is, you guys know which one I'm talking about. The one that requires two zombies. Or you can go into two darks and to go into Starving Venom Fusion Dragon. Now, into the extra deck cards now, we have Destiny and Dragoon. I believe you just pointed something, they just, you just burn them and destroy them, which was a really nice monster. Now, this is uh, some of the stuff that I didn't really, really pay attention to. Destiny Hero Dustopia. Really neat card, I would say. 
Fusion summon, you get the fusion even more. And then once per turn, target monster on the field cannot be destroyed by battle card effect. Now the player takes any battle damage involving attacks from that monster. Okay, that's kind of cool. This effect lasts till the end of the turn. You get two copies of that. So there's two copies. And then we get Dystopia. Uh, two Destiny Hero Monsters, Special Summon. Try to get level 4 or lower Destiny Hero Monster in your grave, right? Inflict damage to your opponent equal to that target's attack. If this uh, card's current attack is different from its original quick effect, you can target one card on the field and destroy it. And if you do, the attack of this card becomes equal to that card's original attack. So in other words, you get to pop stuff. That's pretty neat. You get two copies of that too. So you're playing a fusion-based Destiny Hero deck, which is kind of not what they did before because they kind of this is kind of like a elemental hero merge we got destiny hero dangerous with a dark effect monster with a destiny hero i believe this was like uh give you a free mill of a card too uh, by discarding one card you can send a destiny hero uh, from your hand or deck to the graveyard which is really neat oh hello we have dark law so now you have another opportunity of getting dark law it is a common dark law for those of you who want the foil or the ultimate you're gonna have to look somewhere else but for those of us who are on a bit of a tighter budget you guess what you can pick up dark law as a common and you also get anki as a common wow neat stuff i love the access that it's giving to like a lot of players for this stuff this is legit a good deck good deck to have good staples if you want to play destiny heroes and maybe there are even more hero stuff coming out let's move on to the next deck so the next deck we have the nordics and some of the things that are people are pretty excited about now for the nordics if you guys don't know which uh timeline that these guys came out from uh it was for during five d's it was i believe team unicorn they had this and uh they were a bit lackluster when it came to the actual gameplay of them because at the time they were just not fast enough to keep up I'm hoping that these cards are able to really push it forward. So we have a Link 1 here. We have uh, Golvieg, the Nordic Ascendant of the Nordic Ascendant. It is a fairy Link 1 pointing to the bottom left corner. Uh, recipe is a 1 level 5 or lower Nordic monster. If this card is Link Summon, that's very pretty. If this card is Link Summon, you can banish up to 3 cards from your hand or field. And if you do, Special Summon that many nordic monsters from your deck in defense position also uh for the rest of the turn you can have special summon monsters for a seer so you can't summon anything but like odin thor loki nor normal summon or set any monsters so it's a very big restriction when you get there but it requires one level five lower nordic monsters so it's very easy to make this card it's it's literally free access at all points okay so you can only use this effect of uh, Golvig Nordic Ascendant once per turn. While this card points to a seer monster, your opponent cannot target that monster with card effects, and also monsters your opponent controls cannot target this card for attack. So this is protected. So that's pretty neat. Okay, that's a really really nice effect. I don't, I'm not sure if that gives you the enough speed to actually push forward. Maybe you can go for an OTK, but I'm not. I don't think there's enough strong monsters in the Nordic lineup because I remember that the Nordic lineup of monsters in terms of the tuners and the effect monsters in the main deck they weren't exactly the strongest. So. Into the Ultra reprint, we have uh, the Goat. If this card is destroyed by battle, it's sent to the graveyard. Special on two Nordic tokens, level three beasts. This is uh, I'm not even gonna try it for now. Oh no, I'll try. Tang Grisnir of the Nordic Beast. Oh, what the hell? An Ultra Dark Hole. You know what? You know what? That's good. That's good. I like this Ultra Dark Hole. <laughs> Ascension Sky Dragon. Hey, hey, Nishi, guess what? I also have an Ascension Sky Dragon. And now I'm really curious of what all the other synchros they come with. So this was a YCS prize card. At one point, this is a reprint of it. Ultra rare. Well, you'll know that it is a bit different because the printing style is a bit different. But hey, I'm glad. I'm really glad I have this now. I have Ascension Sky Dragon. I should put this in my prize, prize card page. <laughs> We have Coral Dragon as an Ultra Rare. That's really neat because I never owned a Coral Dragon ever and it is a Synchro Tuner. Don't forget about that. So we're going to go into some of the monsters here and we're just going to run through them. We have uh, Tangra's Nier again. We have Tang uh, Noster. I believe this is the one if you... When a monster you control just is destroyed by balance under the grave, you can special summon this from your hand. That's pretty neat. And yeah, it's a pretty neat card. We have two of these. Uh, Garm, if this card battles a level 4 lower monster and in, after damage calculation, we return it. So yeah, this was almost like a uh, wall of illusion. We have Golfert Axe of Golfax of Nordic Beast. It's a tuner. 
if your opponent synchro summons and you control no monster, oh sorry, if your opponent controls a synchro monster, you control no monster, you can special Cyber Dragon effect. Uh, it's a Tuner Cyber Dragon effect with level 4. Now we're going into Out of the Beast, we're going to the Alphar, the little things that summon Loki. Uh, after you normal summon this, you can normal summon a Nordic monster in your main phase, in addition to your normal summoner set, so that's pretty good. And it's a level 1 too, and that means you can summon this, go into Golvik, and then, well, I guess you kind of can't really normal summon again, but that's a pretty neat card. This is a very useful card, especially the more summon you get, the better. Uh, Le Joseph. Uh, Swartalf, Mara, and now we're on to the Ascendants, the Angels, so Beast, Spellcasters, and now we're on to uh, Mir, Valkyrie, Volandis, I believe these are Secrets, and now we have Tier, Nordic Champion, he's kind of the weird one, okay, now we have Nordic Lights. Nordic Lights is the field spell, it just makes it so that your stuff cannot be destroyed by battle, but if this card leaves the field, it blows up all your cards, so that's something you have to be aware of. Nordic Relic, uh, Droll Pier, the Gauntlets, you get two of them, equipped to a Nordic or Aesir, it gains 800 attack, wow, that's so much attack! If this face-up card on the field is destroyed by a card effect, you can add a Nordic Relic. This is a very lackluster card because it was very easy to work around a lot of these effects, March towards Ragnarok, targeting a seer monster you control until the end of this turn, its effects are negated and also uh, that face up monster is unaffected by other spells and traps. So this is a protection, so it's like now we have also Forbidden- Oh, hello! We get Forbidden Chalice, Lance, and Dress all at once. We get Monster Reborn, another Soul Charge. Hey Trunade comes in common! Oh, hello! This is a reprint Hey Trunade. Mystical Space Typhoon. Uh, these are the Rodas of the set. By Rota, I mean the Searcher. It adds any Nordic monster, but it is a trap, so it adds. It gives you bluff value, if anything. Uh, but it is a lot slower because it is a trap. Nordic Relic of uh, Brisingaman. This is target one phase of monster you control. Yeah, you get two of these. Levitine was the one card that people did actually play. Target a face of monster on the field that destroyed a monster by battle this turn. Destroy it. Card effects cannot respond to this, so this is uh, uh, Levitine. Then we have Gugnir, not the uh, not the Ice Barrier, and then we have uh, Meganjorg and Solemn Authority. This Solemn card that is exclusive for Nordic, so yeah, there's that. So we have, of course, Thor, Loki, Odin, Leo, Beelzeus. The Diabolic Dragons and Beals and Scrap Dragon. These are really, these two in particular, I'm very fond of. They're very meta relevant. And also Leo. Leo is also very nice. But that Ascension Sky Dragon, that's a completely different thing. Just, just a very funny thing to put together. Okay, finally, we have the Phantom Knights. We have uh, the Phantom Knight links. I hope that there's more than just one link, but uh, we'll see. Phantom Knights of the Rusty uh, Bardich. I hope I'm saying it right, but uh, it is a two dark monster to make. So, it's, oh, this is actually pretty generic. So, two dark monsters, which is link three. During your main phase, you can send one Phantom Knight monster from your deck to. Wow, this is really good. Send a deck from deck to the graveyard, and then set one Phantom Knight spell directly from your, uh, your deck to the spawn trap zone. Double plus right there immediately. This is a hot card right here. I would love to make this card. I think anyone that can spam out dark monsters is going to make this card very, very quickly because so many benefits right from the get-go. If a dark exceeds monster, you uh, a special summon to a zone that this card points to while this card is on the field or while this monster is on the field. That's kind of a weird wording. Um, okay, target one card in the field and destroy it. Uh, you can only use each effect of uh, Phantom Knight's uh, Rusty Bardich once per turn cannot be used as a link material. So once you get into this, this is it. This is, this is his final form. But um, wow, this is really good. Awesome stuff. I can't wait to try this card out. Another print of Twin Twisters. Really, this is very interesting. This is an ultra rare print. I talked about Twin Twisters getting a lot of reprints. I didn't expect them to go like Secret Now Ultra. Guess what? They're, it's going to be like full MST spectrum of every single rarity. Phantom Knights of Miss Claws. Target one of your banished Phantom Knight monsters. Add it to your hand when monsters you close a direct attack or this card is in your graveyard. Target one level 4 or lower Phantom Knight monster uh, in your graveyard. Special summon that monster. And if you do... 
Special Summon this card as a normal monster with the same original level as that monster with uh, zero attack, zero defense. This is not a trap, it stays as a monster. Interesting card. Phantom. Oh, you got a break Ultra Rare Break Sword. That's cool. And the uh, Ultra Rare version of Ramagamagamanade. So let's see what else we get. So. Uh, I never really managed to actually collect all of this stuff because I was kind of pricey at the time for Phantom Knights. So we get cloak, boots, gloves. I kind of wish it gave us more of these. Now we have a helmet. Fragile armor. Oh, there is another cloak. And there is another boots. And there is another glove. Oh, okay. <laughs> that was pretty cool. That was actually neat. I, didn't, I thought they would actually stack it all together like the other deck. Do we get more? Another fragile armor? Okay, so you get two of each. Two of each. Two of each. I got a little excited. I'm hoping, hoping for a third. We get an Armageddon Knight, of course. That's a, always a good card. Uh, Mountain Butter Spy. I think this was the card that people use with um, Gokies. We have Rescue Ferret. Junk Forward Reprint. Much needed for the Goki players. Uh, Kagemucha Knight. Cockadoodle Doo. Oh, another reprint of Effect Veiler. And in terms of the spells, we have... Phantom Knight's uh, Rank Up Magic Launch. Launch. It's lunchtime. Phantom Knight's Spear. Another Dark Hole. Dark Hole. Monster Reborn. They all, have, they all come with Monster Reborn. A Foolish Burial. A Rhoda. Dark Eruption. Fog Blade's nice. Uh, Knight Sword. Knight Sword again. These aren't bad because these protect your monsters as well. Phantom Knight's Wing. Double. We also have Phantom Knight's Shadow Veil. Oh, that, that piece of armor that we all just love. You know, your opponent just sets this and just activates on the turn for the extra monster. And we also have Gauntlets. We have Tomb Shield. Vambrace. Is this also one of those that you can just immediately set and activate? I think that was just that was just the uh, this armor here. Vambrace and uh, Wrong Magnet Ring. Another one, Wrong Magnet Ring. Okay, now we're going into the Xyz. I wonder what Xyz... Is there an Excitonite in here? I would be... I would I'd be so stoked. We have Cursed Javelin, uh, Dark Rebellion Xyz Dragon, Dark Requiem Xyz Dragon, Evil Swarm Nightmare. Okay, I like this card because this is like the Book of Moon. Evil Swarm Thanos. Oh my god, we're gonna get Evil Swarm Excited Knight? Oh no, 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 no. We got Levier and Sea Dragon and Dante. Oh, Common Dante. <laughs> well, with me doing so well with the danger stuff, I wonder how this is actually going to play out. But Common Dante, well, for anyone holding on to Dante's, I am sorry, but you just lost quite a bit of value, especially with a Common Dante coming out. But with that said, this particular set does offer a lot of value. There's a lot of cards that I'm pretty excited for, uh, mainly because I get to annoy Kenny with this one uh, for now. But aside from that, that is the product opening of the Legendary Hero decks. So, about the giveaway, don't forget, there is a giveaway link down in the description below. Click it, just enter it, and uh, I believe the draw is going to happen um, on October 7th. That's a really short giveaway. It's going to be the Comic-Con exclusive prize pack, uh, which will include a mat, a legendary hero box, and uh, five packs of star pack frames, and two packs of legendary duelist uh, White Dragon Abyss. So that's going to be all part of the prize pack and it'll be shipped directly to you. Of course, for you guys, US people only. And remember to go to the description down below to join the free giveaway. Not only is there my free giveaway, but there's also Paul's giveaway from Team APS. He's also hosting one of these New York Comic Con prize pack giveaways. And I have linked it up so you guys can double up your chances because I'm always looking out for you guys. Also, I'm personally really excited for the Yusei Matt. He's like my favorite character, so I will be jealous of whoever that actually wins. And also for the lucky winner, you will get all the product mentioned and also a legendary hero box which will again re be released on October 12th now not the 18th October 12th now be sure to check your email on October 7th or 8th okay guys because you definitely don't want to miss out because that's the, my only way of contacting you guys and you guys definitely want your product to ship to you as soon as possible I guess that's all I got for this video if you guys enjoyed this video hit me over the thumbs up if you guys want to see more stuff from MST.TV hit that subscribe button and as always don't forget to hold on to your MST.TV and stay classy everyone
Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please drop us a like so we know we are doing a good job. And you can also subscribe to MSD.TV for more fantastic videos by clicking on the button on the left. Don't forget to check out our partners at Imperium Duelist. They make really high quality mats, including some of my own limited edition release stuff. And if you want to check out one of our past videos, click here on the right. As always, don't forget to hold on to your MST.TV and I'll see you next time.